and they've got to push it and see if they can get something easy in transition. Diallo connects. It's pushed him back. Here comes Pipkins, and he lays it in. And six, that's a pretty big guy, and he's a good defender who's been on in this game. Diallo hits another three. Kale spinning inside, blocked. It was Reeves who got a hand on it. And Reeves normally not a good defender. That was a great defensive play by A.J. Reeves. Pipkins three is good. Nelson. Reeves on the attack. Reeves with the throwdown. Gill watches Powell back in. Diallo banks it in. And <laughs> Cooley even having a chuckle. Young hands off Diallo. And he is fouled. And they're going to count it. Duke trying to answer. He does. And the foul. So Providence will shoot free throws the rest of the half with nine and a half to go. Diallo three. Uh, <laughs> unreal. You know, and Seton Hall going small. I like the idea of Mamu being, but that's what happens when you go small. Earlier, He's had some big second halves this season. He missed the three there. Providence in transition. Reeves lays it in. You always kill me anyway. It's fun. Reeves off the mark. Offensive rebound for Kent. Well, this first five minutes is really critical. If Seton Hall can get this thing to seven or eight. Oh, look at this. And Diallo makes him pay. Should be positive. I don't like the body language right now. It's down to single digits. Pipkins counted in one. Big play. And you know, here's where the not having a real point guard hurts you. Diallo spins and scores. Good play out of the timeout for Ed Cooley. Go back to Diallo in the post. Diallo three. It's good. Out right now. McKnight misses again. Seton Hall has cooled off here in the last few minutes. White all the way, and he scores. See Ed Cooley bringing him back in a two-point game. Diallo from the free throw line. It's good. Diallo off the front of the rim, tipped around, right back to Diallo. Diallo scores. Kevin Willer trying to buy some time with Powell out. Pipkins, that's a two. Diallo explodes and scores. And this will be the third ranked victory for the Providence Friars. An impressive one over number 10, Seton Hall. Oh, my goodness. Why would he do that? And now they're rushing the floor, and but the a foul was called. We do have a final score, 74-71. Wild night here in Providence.